Hi guys, this is Rich from Keto Nation. I'm going to show you one of the tricks that I use to get through one of those sweet tooth moments. Something that you wouldn't expect. Something that's kind of just a little different than what you're used to. And something that's going to get you through that spot and move on to the next. And um, fat bombs may not cut it. Maybe the sodium just doesn't kill that sweet tooth. Maybe the electrolytes aren't fixing it. And you still want something sweet. This is what I'll do. I buy this brand, Oots. And in it, it only has pork rinds and salt. There's nothing else, just pork rinds and salt. Some of the pork rinds you find at the store, it'll have maltodextrin in it. S certain things to preserve the overall shape of the pork rind, the, the, the zest of the pork rind, the thickness of the por pork rind, what makes the pork rind what it is. But this company doesn't put all that stuff in there. That's why I love this because maltodextrin is one of the worst artificial sweeteners for you. And some people have really bad stomach issues when it comes to it. What I have is Splenda's new Stevia blend. They have a bag of it also. You don't want that because the bag, the big bag of this stuff, it looks the same. It has real sugar in it. You don't want that. This has, I'll try to get close so you can pause the video and then read it if you want. Stevia and erythritol, which both of them are zero glycemic index. They don't harm you in any kind of way. Some people say it gives them irritable bowel problems, but I've yet to experience that. Erythritol I did a little bit before Russell Stover's took the erythritol out of their candy and they put stevia in. Right now I'm going to show you how I do this. I get a little olive oil spray. I put a bunch of pork rinds out on a tray. And I'll go over them and I'll spray them real quick. I don't, I don't do cinnamon too much. I love cumin. I don't know why, I just do, and it, and it tastes good with the sugar to me. I've always liked it, so what I'll do, and then I'll just come over my pork rinds real quick. You're gonna probably prefer cinnamon instead of cumin. I love cumin. And then I'll take my stevia, and I'll just pinch it just a little bit. Some people like a lot. You swerve, whatever your choice is. And I'll just go around and I'll just drop some stevia right on top of the pork rind. So this is just changes it up. It gives it a different flavor, a different balance to it. So you're not having the same old, same old. And let me give it a shot. That's good. It's got a nice, sweet, nutty taste to it. And it's just not plain pork rinds. This is my tip to you to get through that sweet moment. If you're just tired of fat bombs and you want some texture, something crunchy, but it, you want it sweet. It's kind of got like a little bit of a cinnamon toast crunch taste to it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you get a chance, and the bottom right corner, there's a subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And maybe you'll get a notification here or there when I come up with some ideas to help you along your journey better. So click the bell. Every once in a while, it'll pop up when I want to come up with something and share it with you. Thanks for your support. Welcome to Keto Nation. If you're not part of Keto Nation, check it out on Facebook. Keto Nation Official. It's got to say official next to it. All right, guys. Keto on.